Okay, so uh, let me just start this way. I have cystic zits. Um, I get them around my mouth. I don't know if it's like hormone related or like sometimes I think maybe I get them from my boyfriend's beard <laughs> from like irritation or maybe, I don't know, because he doesn't wash like his face as much. I have no idea. Um, but not like he's dirty. I just mean like I wash my face twice a day, sometimes three times if I have makeup or sunscreen on. So like, you know, nobody washes their face that much. Um, but I also have really sensitive skin and when it's my period time, I get these horrible cystic zits underneath the surface of my skin. I have been to a doctor about it. I have like a retinol prescription that I use, but I think that I need a higher one. I don't know, I was just taking Zoloft and now I'm off of it, so who knows what's going on with my skin. Last week, I went to the facialist to get this giant one popped, but the thing, like I've done that before, I've gone to a facialist to get it extracted um, when I have a cyst because they, seriously, they build up so long. If you have cystic zits, you know what I'm talking about. Like it starts growing deep under the surface. It never comes to a head, ever, and it hurts. That is what I have. So one a zit came up over here. I had it extracted by my facialist probably like two weeks ago. Um, I don't know if you can see like the remnants. I don't know why I'm showing you all these flaws, but it's there. Um, then I left the facialist and like three days later, another one came up above my lip and it was like deep under the skin. It hurt, I could like feel the lump, but there was no white head. So I texted my facialist like, hey, do you think I could like get a, <laughs> like get a sewing needle and put some rubbing alcohol on it and just like pop it? Um, and she said, don't do that, which is basically what I was expecting her to say. But I was like, what should I do like right now? I have something to go to tomorrow morning, like, I don't have time to get a facial tonight or tomorrow morning. What do I do to make this zit go away right here, right now? And she texted me back like six novel text messages, which I appreciated so much. I love having like my facialist's phone number and my hairdresser's phone number so much. So she texted me back all of these novels, which I appreciate desperately, and I'm going to share them with you now because it was some great information and it worked. So she told me definitely don't just get a needle, go digging for it or dig with your fingernails at all because especially around the mouth, she said, it can rupture under the skin, spread out and cause a scar. That was new information to me and I spend a lot of time reading about zits and skincare. So I was shocked, I was upset. I will never play with a, a zit before it has a white head. I, I, I don't, but sometimes you want to. You okay, so don't play with them. That's a, good, that's a good lesson because they'll rupture under the surface of your skin and give you um, scars for the rest of your life. So what she did say that I could do is alternate hot and cool compresses, which when I was texting her, I already had a warm washcloth on there. So I run just a cotton washcloth under the tap as hot as the water will go, and then I pressed it on there, and I was like doing that for several minutes before she texted me back, and she said that you can add an ice cube in there. Uh, I wrapped the ice cube in my washcloth, so it was like not directly on my skin, there was like a cloth barrier between like the really cold. Um, but I wrapped a wet washcloth around an ice cube and then I put that on just like the surface of the cyst. Oh, actually it was on my lip when I was doing it. On the surface of the cyst. Um, and then I would like let that sit for like 30, 45 seconds. And then I would like make a really hot washcloth again. And then I would do that for like a minute or so until the washcloth got cool. And then I would do the cold compress and then I would do the hot compress. And I did that for like probably not even five minutes, like four or five minutes. And then I put, uh, she told me I could put a salicylic acid on it, which like I already had this in my hand when she told me that, but that is something you can do. This is an Orig Origins Super Spot Remover. Um, I actually found out about this like on YouTube, I'm sure. I see you creeping away. Yes, don't creep away. Um, <laughs> on YouTube, I'm sure I found out about this guy and I like don't, I don't really believe in spot treatments, but I think like the salicylic acid combined with like the uh, hot cold compress 
and like drew it out and made it come to a head because I woke up at like three in the morning and it had worked. Like it was at a head, I popped it and it's been gone. Like the one on my upper lip, you can't even see. It's just like been gone and gone and gone. So every single time I have a cyst from now on, I'm definitely gonna do this. I am gonna go back to the doctor um, and make sure like that the prescription that I have is the right one for me, the retinol prescription and see if maybe I need a higher like percentage um, because this sucks and cystic acne sucks and I want it to stop forever. I am really lucky with my skin for the most part because I only get like that odd one, but it hurts like and who wants to go through that if you don't have to so that's my plan oh she said if you don't have um this if you don't have a salicylic acid just like to hand which if you're watching this video you probably do but uh if you don't she said you could crush up an aspirin and mix it with water because that has salicylic acid in it which i didn't know that's super cool good to know um and she also said before it comes to a head if you like have to go out with it get a little bit of hydrocortisone cream and put it on there because that'll calm down the inflammation. She said that the most important thing to remember is just don't pick it because that'll make it implode and that'll make it a hundred times worse. So just don't pick it. This is the same lesson as my last how to pop zits video. Don't pick it. Uh, do what I just said. Hot cold compress, salicylic acid. It'll come to a white head before you know it. I never thought it would. I swear to I've never ever seen one of my cysts come to a white head like that before. It was like six hours. That's how fast this works. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. I like need this information. I can't believe I have never heard of like alternating a hot and cold compress on a like a zit beneath the surface of the skin before. She said it just draws out impurities. Uh, genius, genius. So I hope this information helped other people too. I cannot be the only person who didn't know about this. It's amazing, like so effective. I hope it is effective for everybody else. You should comment if it's not and I'm stupid, but it worked for me like a charm. Subscribe if you like skincare videos if this was helpful and you can like this video if you want to. I'm, while this is up, I'm in Europe. Um, so I post new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but all these right now are like pre-recorded. Um, so yeah, when this goes up, I'm like at Versailles just running around or something, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, new videos, fun, girly stuff on this channel. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.